For ages, people have been looking for Atlantis, the legendary city claimed to be the site of a sophisticated civilization that vanished without a trace. But thanks to a recent discovery, we may have finally found the key to uncovering Atlantis's mysteries. Yes, Atlantis might have been proven by this piece of clay. Join us as we uncover the incredible story behind this place that has the potential to forever alter our knowledge of history. One of the most popular myths in the world is the mystery of lost Atlantis. Some believe that the Minoan civilization and ancient Thera, which is the Santorini, are inextricably linked to the lost Atlantis. However, there is limited evidence to support that idea. Many scientists, geologists, and archaeologists appear to believe that there is a link between Santorini and Plato's legendary lost island of Atlantis. Plato, an Athenian philosopher, wrote the first recorded source for the tale of Atlantis. He believed that the people of Atlantis lived happily on a prosperous island beyond the Pillars of Hercules. Hence, Atlantis was most likely located somewhere between Europe and America, possibly in the Atlantic Ocean. Poseidon, his human wife Clito, and their ten children owned Atlantis, which was named after their first son. Poseidon's residence was in the center of the island, and he surrounded it with five concentric rings, two of land and three of sea. However, it is doubtful that such an advanced civilization as described by Plato existed as far back in time as it is claimed. The island was magnificent, perfect, and flourishing in every way, and the inhabitants lived happily for many years. At some time, though, the surplus money created pride and greed in individuals, and they want even more, so they decided to conquer Asia and Europe. However, in the war they had initiated, they were defeated by the Athenians, and their grandeur vanished for good. Zeus and the other gods resolved to destroy the entire island to rescue the planet, and this is what happened after a massive earthquake and flood when Atlantis vanished forever into the sea. Since then, the enigma of its exact location has remained unanswered, and different studies have been conducted around the world in order to locate the sunken Atlantis. According to Plato, the account of Atlantis was told to Solon by Egyptian priests on one of his journeys to Egypt. Similarly, Plato's dialogues Critias and Timaeus tell the account of Atlantis. One of the most amazing things Solon learned from the priest was that the Atlanteans formerly possessed divine powers, but progressively lost them. They resolved to go against other rich islands after being left with only human powers. They traveled around the Mediterranean, conquering numerous cities before being vanquished by the Athenians. The gods' wrath for the Atlanteans' arrogance eventually led to their retribution. The Olympians annihilated Atlantis in a single night, leaving nothing but muck behind. The Minoan settlement of Akrotiri, located on the island of Santorini, was a sophisticated settlement that was devastated around 1500 BC due to the powerful eruption of the Santorini volcano, as historians have noted. The force of this volcanic eruption was so great that tsunami waves from the Aegean Sea reached and devastated the Minoan villages of northern Crete. Plato's portrayal of the fabled Atlantis's destruction shares many similarities with the story of the Minoan Akrotiri which likewise vanished without a trace. Because Akrotiri was covered by the volcanic ashes of Santorini, it is possible that the island represents the lost Atlantis that vanished in a single night. Furthermore, archaeologists point out that ancient Thera had a thriving economy, and the Minoans were great seafarers who traded with other Mediterranean countries. According to Plato, a specific island called Atlantis reflected his concept of the perfect state, and a thorough description of it can be found in his writings Timaeus and Critias. Some staunch believers in the mythological island's existence say that the island of Santorini could be a suitable location. This notion arose as a result of the catastrophic volcanic eruption that occurred in 1613 BC and resulted in the annihilation of a whole civilization, the Minoans, who were profoundly affected by the disaster on many levels. The convergence of some facts, such as the coincidence of the dates of both destructions, the shape of Santorini before the explosion, which used to form a large circular island with the two nearby islands, Therasia and Aspronisi, as well as the findings of excavations in the prehistoric city of Akrotiri, which revealed a brilliant and sophisticated civilization, was enough for some people to believe this theory. But has this piece of clay just proved the existence of Atlantis? Dr. Martin Peppers, a geologist, is looking for proof for his next clue, a violent event that took place in a temple in the heart of Atlantis. Plato wrote that sacred bulls were released into the wild every five years and that the kings had to capture a bull with rose petals and drink its blood. 
This tiny clay artifact was provided to Martin as a vital lead found in Santorini. It bears the footprint of a bull with a human figure arching over it. May this be a picture of Atlantis's royal bull hunt. If this is the case, the bull's beginnings may have been on the island of Crete, 70 miles south of here, because the clay and image originated there from this place. This was originally a very spectacular palace built by the Minoans, another highly advanced ancient people. The artwork discovered here demonstrates that the Minoans were obsessed with bulls and performed an incredible bull ritual. The massive fresco where you can see a person somersaulting over the bull. And then on either side we could have these individuals either holding on to the bull or representing the before and after stages of the actual bull league. Among all the depictions of bull leaping, there are also pictures of bulls caught in nets of rope, precisely like in the bull on, raising the possibility that this extraordinarily risky act was an introduction run for the elite members of society. The question is, did this same kind of event occur on Santorini? Plato described Atlantis as looking across the valley just below Kano, and we can just picture a huge group of Minoans surrounding a dirt arena with this broad-horned angry bull on one side and their athletes somersault and flip over the bowl, almost like a sacred rodeo. A recent Discovery Channel show claimed that the ancient lost metropolis of Atlantis was really located on what is now known as the Greek island of Santorini. Covered beneath 200 feet of ash from a volcanic explosion and with nearly unbelievable artistic marvels and extravagant wealth that have lately been excavated in the location known as Akrotiri on the island of Santorini, additional tantalizing indications as to its true identity have been revealed. The island, formerly named Strong Hilly or Round, erupted about 1650 BC, decimating all life on the island and erasing an ancient city-state that archaeologists believe was part of the Minoan culture. Plato claimed that the city once assaulted Athens with naval forces, but the Athenians easily resisted the onslaught. The island nation was afterwards punished by the gods for its arrogance, drowning beneath the seas of the Aegean. The Discovery Channel's program, part of its series Blowing Up History, offers further support to the hypothesis that the ancient city was really located on the island of Santorini. Findings, particularly those made in 2020, indicate remarkable artwork discovered in the Akrotiri area of Santorini. Akrotiri may indeed be the location of the ancient Atlantis. Researchers continue to find additional relics from the past that were buried there, much like at Pompeii many centuries later, preserving a culture that has been lost forever. The island's culture flourished 3,000 years ago until its residents were violently slaughtered by the volcanic eruption, but researchers believe it existed for thousands of years before that. Since its discovery in the mid-19th century, more paintings, artifacts, and structures have been discovered, each pointing to an extraordinarily advanced and wealthy civilization. According to the new documentary, clues to the connection can be found in the incredible frescoes that decorate the walls of every home. These vibrant paintings depict a paradise full of swirling colors, flowers, and exotic animals, Plato said. They take pictures of the locals, they bear witness to a highly developed and prosperous society. Despite the fact that no other writers of the time or any other time described Atlantis, Plato's words have lived on in history, and hundreds of historians have attempted to determine the exact location of the fabled island. Subscribe to our channel and join us as we uncover fascinating mysteries and discoveries from around the world. Getting back to the topic, the fact that it vanished almost instantaneously after the ancient volcano's cataclysmic eruption leads many to believe Santorini is the lost island of Atlantis, according to the documentary. In its prime, says the film, its narrow streets are intricately paved with stone, and its town square is lined with picturesque houses that tower three and four stories high. The facades are decorated with a variety of colorful stones. The film claims that the ruins suggest a highly sophisticated civilization flourished here for thousands of years before its abrupt end. The film depicts Plato's description of the island being attacked by a volcanic explosion. The massive eruption, one of the largest in several thousand years, caused a 20-mile-high cloud that poured ash on countries as far away as Egypt, 200 miles from Santorini. Do you know who ruled Atlantis? And why was he so well-known in Greek mythology? Watch this video to learn more. We will see you all there.